What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overload here. Since I'm talking about Scream 6 in this video here at the end today, I just wanted to talk about Samara Weaving and what her role will be in Scream 6 going off of what Clips has said. Now, Clips comprehend over on Twitter. We know the person that many people are deciding or picking and choosing what they want to believe, what they don't think is real, what is true. Uh, he has revealed the name of Josh Seguera's character, who knows now David Coleman, allegedly. But he also, the more interesting thing for a lot of people was teasing the fact that Samara Weaving could be playing this character's friend in the movie. And they both seem to be struggling actors. Well, at least David is anyway. So we won't know if Samara's character is a struggling actress. So a lot of people are now like, what is she an actress in potentially? Is she an actress in a new stab entry? Is she an actress in, let's say maybe they've done a stab TV series or some other rendition of stab that she's a part of? Or is she just going to be a simple actress? Just, you know, keep up with the fact that this is Scream. Scream has some meta aspects to it. It has a whole film franchise based on these events. So, of course, why would we not run into some more actresses? If anything, it might be a nod to Scream 3 since Scream 3 was about a, a film cast being killed by a ghost face killer who was out, you know, as we found out in the movie, trying to get revenge on his half sister. But Samara's character probably most likely is going to be something that if you're someone who's expecting her to be on screen for a lot of this, keep in mind, you have Hayden Pantier back there. People want to see a lot from her. You already have Courtney Cox. People want to see a lot from her. You have Nev Campbell, who many people, again, are kind of off and on with this. I still believe she will be in the movie. You have people who want to see Nev Campbell and want to see her the most. Uh, some people don't care because she's not in it. And then you have people who actually do care about the new cast, Sam, Tara, and Mindy, Chad. And they understand that by introducing those characters in Screen 5, you need to now focus on them much more because in 5, they weren't focused on as much as you thought they might have been. Tara's friends weren't really all that well developed uh, as strongly as they could have been. But now we have a chance to explore that in Screen 6. So why waste that by then turning it into a Kirby centric narrative or, you know, some other centric narrative that's not tied to Sam and Tara, you know, stick to what you've already done. Stay committed to the characters that you've created and give the fans of the characters that have already been here since previous entries what they want by at least writing some strong, compelling roles for those characters. But then you also have the newcomers like, again, Samara Weaving, who people want to see a lot of her from because there is that other bit of information out there where we all know she was supposed to be a part of screen five that's what they wanted but scheduling made that not happen some people i don't even know if this is actually straight up confirmed but the belief is that she was supposed to potentially probably be sam at one point or another so so some people think they only swap like races for the character because samara couldn't do it i mean i don't think that's what happened if it is what happened so what my whole thing is samara weaving while i would love to see a lot of her in scream six I don't see that happening. The cast is so packed and there's so much that needs to be done with other important characters. Samara Weaving is not coming in playing a known character. She's coming in playing somebody we're about to meet. So I don't think you're going to get a lot with her because there's so much more that's needed for Sam, Tara, Kirby, Gail, Chad, Mindy, the potential presence of Sydney. So much stuff that needs to be done with our already established cast that people who are going for Samara Weaving, you might be a little disappointed. Samara Weaving most likely will be playing a friend who and if if this character of David is hitting on uh, Sam's character in the movie. Let's say that there might be some tension probably between Sam and Tara. Maybe maybe the character of Samara will be someone who's interested in David and she becomes jealous or gets mad at their neighbor because of the fact that. David is showing more interest in Sam when she wants David to show interest in her. Maybe they're working on a movie together too, because if they are indeed working on a new stab entry, maybe something about that movie, and maybe it's potentially based on the events of Screen 5. Perhaps that's what's happening. And because of that plot line, they find out that the, that the woman, Sam Carpenter, is staying in New York. And maybe that's why David wants to get close to her, because he either actually genuinely likes the girl or maybe he just wants to get close to the girl to help him with whatever role he's playing in this new stab movie that's based on the events of screen five because i also want to throw this out there i know some people think he might be the killer going off of his clothes that he wears so wearing a similar pattern that we've seen jill wear billy wear some other people that is kind of like now a thing where people are like oh if they wear that they're the killer 
What if he's wearing that because he's playing Richie? Didn't Richie wear something like that in Screen 5? He could be playing Richie in this new Stab movie based on the events of Screen 5. So maybe he just wants to get closer to Billy Loomis' actual daughter and thinks that that will help him perform better on screen in this new Stab movie. But Samara's character would just be a jealous bystander in all of this. She probably will have, honestly, like Rebecca-level screen time. Rebecca from Screen 4, that is the amount of screen time I would expect Samara Weaving to have. If she has more, then she just has more. I would love to see as much of Samara Weaving as we possibly can. What I do not want is to have so much screen time of one particular person that was not present for the last movie that it feels as though they are getting far too much screen time than the important components to the narrative that are going to push the plot forward. We don't need that. You need to focus on Sam, Tara, Kirby if she is important, Gail if she is important. Focus on all of the important things. Samara Weaving, unfortunately, I don't think is going to be a very important factor of this movie. Now, if she ends up being Ghostface, obviously, then I'm just flat out wrong because obviously Ghostface is very important. I don't think that Samara will end up being Ghostface. Some people even, I think Clips at one point laughed at someone who thought that they wouldn't bring in Samara for a small role after not being able to get her for five. Why would they not? Why would they not? They brought they, they might honestly again be bringing her in because that's how badly they wanted her for five. Even if they were originally going to have a more important role for her in five, they can't do that now because that role probably went to someone else or because plans just changed. T plans change over time and they just simply want to have her because they wanted her at one point for five. So at least come in and do a couple scenes for us in six doesn't mean that just because they got her that she's going to be some important character. I don't even expect her to be an important character. I would love for her to have a lot of screen time where she is maybe intertwined into the survivors going forward i just don't see it happening we have so many survivors in this movie as it is that are gonna need to have some storylines developed between them all to the point where you know these newcomers samar samar weaving and someone like tony revelori just because they're cast in the movie and they got announcements doesn't mean they're gonna have these grand old roles now of course samar could have her jennifer moment she could have her Jennifer moment and she could become a fan favorite as far as like supporting cast members of screen movies are, are are referred to or concerned about. I just don't think Samara will have that big of a role. I think she'll have something very minor, probably have maybe five minutes of screen time max. Let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications so you never miss a video. In the description, I will have links to my social media accounts. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, to let me know if there are any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.